I'm Chris Hawley. I'm a city planner for the Mayor's Office of Strategic Planning in Buffalo, New York. Uh, we are um, making a lot of strides in revitalizing downtown. That's a key piece of the puzzle. Very similar to what Fresno is doing, uh, we're doing some uh, rewrites of our of our zoning ordinances and, and other codes. Uh, in particular here, we're throwing out 1,804 pages of land use regulations and starting from scratch with a form-based code. The uh, mayor decided that our code from 1953 was so out of date that it was simply better to start from scratch. That's what we're doing. Uh, so we figured we might as well take a 21st century approach that embraced our mixed-use walkable neighborhoods. As a form-based code, it embraces a lot of ideas about sustainable, compact neighborhoods, uh, transit, walkability. Uh, so we're trying to do as much of that as possible, consistent with our comprehensive plan which embraces uh, smart growth and sustainability principles. The, the downtown development code for Fresno is something we paid uh, very close attention to. In fact, I think we might even say we've, we've stolen some of your material. It's, uh, it's, it's quite good, and we think Fresno is doing some pretty exciting stuff. I think in particular the sign regulations for, that you have proposed for downtown uh, have provided a good model for our city. But I think by and large, uh, the um, investment community is very enthused about moving toward uh, a new code that will allow for streamlined approvals, much more clear and predictable development outcomes, and standards that average people, not just uh, land use attorneys and architects, can understand. Well, we have a project currently underway. The first stage is under construction, uh, cars sharing Main Street. We have uh, uh, a pedestrian and transit uh, mall that was put in place in the mid-1980s uh, that uh, it was widely considered to not have been as successful as his planners originally anticipated, not too dissimilar to the Fresno Pedestrian Mall. And um, we're making strides in bringing cars and a mix of traffic modes back to the streets so we can make it much more lively and economically um, competitive uh, environment uh, for, for downtown. Well, before I was at City Hall, um, I was an activist. Uh, there was a portion of the project where we uh, decided in the end to remove a, a transit station in the theater district. At the time, I was part of a group of folks that was opposed to that idea. Still think it would have been better off to keep the transit station in our historic theater district, uh, but, um, but by and large, uh, the decision uh, to remove it is part of a larger project that in the end will uh, benefit, uh, benefit everybody. Um, the car sharing Main Street has been through a, a lengthy public process. There has been some, some um, a discussion about some details that were, were in conflict, but we've made decisions about the way we're going to go, and uh, pretty soon we'll have light rail, uh, bicycles, pedestrians, and cars sharing the same right away, I think making it a much more vibrant place. Now we're pretty excited. I think Fresno is a sister city in many ways. Uh, to Buffalo, we share a lot of the same challenges, a lot of the same opportunities. Uh, both cities, I think, are making great strides, in particular in revitalizing their downtown. Uh, so we'll still be paying close attention to everything Fresno is doing and hope to learn from it. Great. Likewise. Great. Thank you. Thanks.